Okay, so this part was printed on my ANA A8 and it was done using Simplify 3D for the slicer. I did this because there's a lot of supports on this and I just kind of want to see how well they're going to come out. I printed a smaller part and the supports just crumbled off which was amazing. I didn't have to do a whole lot. So let's let's take a look and see. It's stuck on there pretty good. Hold on. And just in re pulling that off, some of the supports came right off of there. So, let's take a look. A little bit hard to do one handed, I'm sure, but. Pulls right off. Nice and clean, just a little bit there. Underneath, right there. So inside. Just nice smooth surface still. Alright, time to get serious with two hands here. Next time I'll do the infill or the infill of the support structure a bit less. There we go. Still, that is a lot nicer than any other slicer I've ever used. A little bit of work, but the cleanup is going to be so nice on this. I'll come back when I got it all done. Well, I lied. Places like this are a lot easier. Just fold right off. comes right off. It's amazing. These little pieces there just folds right off. I love it. 
All right, so I have spent about 10 minutes on this since I was away, and I have to say that this is the easiest support removal I've ever done, and I'm not going to have a huge amount of cleanup to do either. I mean, there's a little bit, you know, I gotta drill out these holes because they still have a little bit of support material in them. But the surface, what it left on the surface is not much at all. I am extremely happy with Simplify 3D. All of these areas here had a lot of support in them to get those nice straight lines, these like 90 degree overhangs. And I don't have much cleanup to do at all on them. Oh, looks like I left a little piece of material there. This whole area underneath there was full of support. Still, not a whole lot left to do. I filed down the edge a little bit where I had my print bed a little too close to my hot, to my nozzle, but other than that, I am extremely happy with this. All of this over here, all of this was around encased in support material. Every one of these overhangs. This is amazing. And all they do is they they tell the printer to not print directly at the at you know, they do one layer gap between the support material and the piece. I mean, that's what I saw in the videos today anyway. So I'm not really sure why other people, other slicers, can't do this. Or maybe they can, I just don't know. If I don't know, hey, let me know.